Hey guys, I just got back from a walk and I was thinking about this concept that has been on my heart for a while recently. And that is this idea of sacred entitlement, which I think most women need a healthy dose of. And that is, you know, embodying that we are inherently worthy of the love we want, the life we want, the success we want, all the health we want. There's also just regular entitlement, which we want to steer clear of. And that is expecting our heart's desires to come in when we are not embodying the fullness of the frequency of that desire. So that means we're not fully available to receive it. We secretly are afraid of having it. We we want it, but we expect to have it just fall from the sky as we sit in our bedroom and meditate about the thing we want. That's the kind of entitlement that I think a lot of us fall into in the spiritual world, some of us, um, myself included at times, where I can deeply want something, but at times have not shown up fully for that thing. And that is about showing up fully for it in our hearts, in our minds, and through our actions. And so if we are not fully available for what we want, then but we're expecting it to show up, that's the kind of entitlement that I would consider unhealthy, that we get to really look at with love and compassion, but get, get curious about it and be willing to disrupt that. Because yes, you get to embody sacred entitlement, which is I get to have what I want, I'm worthy of it, I'm capable of it, and we get to embody. So something you can ask yourself to discern, am I embodying unhealthy entitlement? Uh, is am I fully available for the thing that I say that I want? Close your eyes, feel your body, feel your heart. Am I 100% open to receiving the thing that I want? And be honest with yourself. Then something else you can ask yourself is, Am I secretly afraid that I will lose something if I get it? Am I secretly afraid that something bad will happen to me if I receive it? Am I afraid I will lose freedom? Am I afraid I will be rejected? You know, be really, really honest with yourself because that's the work you get to do is to clear whatever that is. Another really powerful thing you can ask yourself is, am I showing up 100% available in my actions for what I want. So if you're wanting to attract the love of your life, are you open when you go about the world? Are you making eye contact with men? Are you putting out a warm, inviting energy and open to conversations with people? Are you actively going on dates? (laughs) If you have a passion project, are you showing up in devotion to that project? Are you taking the steps? Are you moving your feet, right? So we... Another, I could do a whole other tangent on this, but another thing we talk about a lot in my world is inspired action. Well, sometimes the action that we're called to take does not feel inspiring, but we know we need to take it. So I would like to call that committed action or devotional action. So we want to steer clear of entitlement and instead, so showing up with an open heart, fully available for the thing that you want and having the mind, the healthy mindset of, I get to have this, this is already mine. So that's part of the equation is the mindset and the energy, right? And then the third piece being devotional action and know that sometimes those action steps are the opposite of inspiring. They're terrifying, or we have massive, massive resistance to taking the action steps that we know we need to take. And that is a part of the journey. And that is something that we get to celebrate the fuck out of ourselves for.